Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good night, whatever time it is for you. Hope you're doing well. So today we're going to look at the 2007 number one. I'm skipping over a couple of them from that last exam we're doing, the 2008 Form B, because um, I, I think those problems are really unlikely to, um, those sorts of things were really unlikely to be um, on the exam this year. Not not just me, but the gurus who have, who have spoken about the exam say the same thing, but this one is very, very much the sort of thing I think could be on the exam this year. So I want you to give this one a shot. So the 2007 uh, number one. So this one says, uh, the Department of Agriculture at the university was interested in determining whether a preservative was effective in reducing discoloration in frozen strawberries. A sample of 50 ripe strawberries was prepared for freezing. Then the sample was randomly divided into two groups of 25 strawberries each. Each strawberry was placed into a small plastic bag. The 25 bags in the control group were sealed. The preservative was added to the 25 bags containing strawberries in the treatment groups. Then those bags were sealed. All bags were stored at zero degrees Celsius for a period of six months. At the end of this time, after strawberries were thawed, a technician rated each strawberry's discoloration from 1 to 10 with a low score indicating little discoloration. The dot plots below show the distribution of discoloration ratings for the control group and the treatment group. So here's the 25 strawberries that got the treatment. That's their discoloration rating there. Here's the 25 strawberries that got no treatment. They're the control group and there's their discoloration ratings. And so... Part A says the standard deviation of the ratings for the control group is 2.141. Explain how this value summarizes the variability in the control group. Part B, based on the dot plots, comment on the effectiveness on the preservative in lowering the amount of discoloration in strawberries. No calculations are necessary. And then Part C, researchers at the university decided to calculate a 95% confidence interval for the difference in the mean discoloration rating between the strawberries that were not treated with the preservative and those that were treated with the preservative. The confidence interval they obtained was 0.16 to 2.72. Assume the conditions for necessary for the T confidence interval are met. Based on the confidence interval, comment on whether there would be a difference in the population mean discoloration ratings for the treat, treated and untreated strawberries. Now, if you want to pause this video and give it a shot, that would be great. So there's that, and there's that. There you go. Okay, so this first one, and that is, yes, that is a very typical question. You just have to describe what is the standard deviation in the context. And it said for the control group. So you had to say, basically say, what is the average amount? The points vary from the middle, but you have to say it in context. Say in context, okay? Say it in context. That's the, the thing that people lift out. It's the average amount that the discoloration ratings vary from the middle. And so that's what you have to say. So the standard deviation is, in essence, the average amount that each discoloration ratings in the control group varies from the mean of the ratings. That's it. That's the main thing you have to know about standard deviation. Okay? You know, the formula for it is, I, I, it is be, it's never been on the exam since 1997 when the exam started. It sure as heck isn't going to be in it this year, okay, because of the nature of the exam this year. So that's all you had to say there. And then it said, comment on the effectiveness on the preservative. Well, when you look at this, when you look at this, you notice that, you know, in general, the center of the treatment groups are lower than the center here. It said you didn't need calculations, so the center appears to be here. It's a little lower. In general, the treatment values are lower than the control group in general. Okay, so it's like the curve's been shifted over a bit. And so this is, um, this is the way I worded that. And so this, uh, the treatment group of the discoloration ratings has a center around five, which is less than the control group center, which is around six to seven. It appears, and so answer the question that's being asked. It appears the preservative was effective in lowering the discoloration ratings as the ratings in the treatment group are in general lower than the control group. So you had to basically say that yes, it was effective and you had to talk about the dot plot. 
some characteristic of the dot plot. You had to talk about the centers, or you had to talk, you know, that the centers were lower, or in general the values were lower, or you, actually you could come up with a five number summary for both of those. And as it turns out, the five number summary, each of the five numbers of the five number summary for the treatment group were all lower than the five number summary values for the control group. So, um, so that's what you had to say. You had to say in general it was lower and then comment, use a reason from the graph like I did there. And then lastly, uh, based on this interval, and I've told y'all that this is a popular thing, is that when, when you're talking about a confidence interval for the difference, the most interesting thing about that confidence interval for the difference is whether or not zero is in there. Zero represents no difference. Okay, and so zero is not in the interval. Therefore, it is not plausible that there's no difference. These are the plausible values for the difference. And so this is the way that I worded that. Zero is not in this interval, so it is not a plausible value, and you have to say it in context. And use, use their wording here. It is not a plausible value for the difference in the population mean discoloration matings for the treated and untreated strawberries. That's what, we, that's what is, in essence, they're trying to say. So this is what I said. So, so uh, zero is not a plausible value for the true population mean difference in the discoloration ratings for the treated and untreated strawberries. Thus, there does appear to be a difference in the population mean ratings. And so there you go. All right. So, uh, you know, if, if you've got any questions about that, please let me know. And uh, I hope you're, hope you're doing well. We're getting closer to the... Um, we're getting closer to the exam time, so please send me, like I said, any questions you have or about anything. Make sure and practice the demo, please. On the College Board, you can go to your MyAP site. They have a demo there on how to upload your answer properly, so make sure you're cool with that. And in regards, if you are using the school computer, please let me know because you're supposed to turn it in actually on May 21st because that's the time that they set up, but you don't have to if you don't want to. So, but you've got to tell me that. That's the thing. That's the big deal. So you've got to send me a message and let me know, hey, I am, you know, holding on to my computer. And then we're going to arrange a time for you to come in and turn it in, turn your computer uh, into me. And so there you go. So that's it. Okay. Have a great rest of the day.